America, the land of abomination. Why do I say that? Because stuff that God calls an abomination is on the rise in America. Let me show you that. Let's get to some scripture first. So, what about bestiality? What does God think about bestiality? Because you're, not, you're probably going to be shocked, but that's on the rise in America too. There are um, uh, rising in America. Exodus chapter 22, verse 19. Whosoever lieth with a beast shall surely be put to death. Back under the old law, if you lie with the beast, you do bestiality, you get put to death. Leviticus 20, uh, Leviticus 20 verse 15 to 16. And if a man lie with the beast, he shall surely be put to death, and he shall slay the beast. And if a woman approach unto a beast, and lie down there, sorry, lie down there too, thou shalt kill the woman and the beast, uh, thou shalt, they shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. God put the death penalty on bestiality. Now, if we're not under the old law anymore, obviously we're not under the law, we're under the New Testament, but that doesn't change the fact that God still calls bestiality an abomination. Deuteronomy chapter 27, verse 21. Cursed is he, or cursed be he that lieth with any manner of, of beast, and that all the people shall say, Amen. You see, God curses bestiality. It's wicked in the sight of God. Well, let's see what America's doing about it. Did you know that as of February 10th, 2018, 45 states and two territories banned sex with animals, so they banned bestiality, while five states and the District, and the district of Columbia have decriminalized it. So bestiality is legal in five states. And, and you know, it is good that 45 states have criminalized it, but you know what? Just like with sodomy, it's going to, you know, state by state, they're going to decriminalize it. Because do you think the sodomites are going to stop at, at uh, sodomy? No, they're going to go for bestiality next. So yeah, it may be illegal in 45 states, but in a matter of time, I mean, if the rapture, the catching away doesn't happen soon, I imagine they're going to start pushing for the legality of bestiality. I mean, they're already doing it in Canada. The Supreme Court of Canada has already said, uh, like back in 2016, they've already said that, you know, there could be some exceptions to Canada's anti-bestiality laws. It's disgusting. Filthy. What about necrophilia? If you don't know what necrophilia is, not to be graphic, it's basically where you basically have intercourse with a, a dead body. Let's see, what, let's see what God says about it. Numbers chapter 19, verse 11. He that toucheth the dead body of any man shall be unclean seven, or shall be unclean seven days. So when you touch a dead body, not just not just you know get busy with it, let alone just touching a dead body. God says you're, I mean, you touch a dead body, let alone you know have intercourse with it. God says you're unclean for seven days. Now again, this was back under the old law, but it shows what God thinks about it. Leviticus 21 verse 10 to 11, and he that uh, is a high priest among the, his brethren, upon whose head the anointing oil was poured, and that was consecrated, put on the garments, thou shalt not uncover his head or nor rend his clothes. Verse 11, neither shall he go into any dead body or defile himself for his father or his mother, or for his mother. You know, God says that it's basically you're defiling yourself when you uh, get busy with a dead body or you get carnal with a dead body. Well, did you know in America, necrophilia is actually legal in four states? It's disgusting. There are four states in the country where you can basically have intercourse with a dead body. Necrophilia is legal in Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, and North Carolina. So in these four states, you can just, you know, get busy with a dead body. It's disgusting. You know, that's why I call it America the land of abomination. Because stuff that God calls an abomination, like, like literally, he says in necrophilia, you're defiling, you're defiling yourself. And then what, what happens in America? Oh, it's legal in four states. Now, most states do criminalize it, just like bestiality. Most states do criminalize it. But the fact that it's legal in four states kind of shows the morality in America. Uh, what about incest? Let's see what God says about that. Leviticus 20, verse 17. And if a man shall take his, take his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and see their nakedness, uh, and, sh and she see his nakedness, it is a wicked thing, and they shall be cut off uh, in the sight of their people. He hath uncovered his sister's nakedness. He shall bear his iniquity. I mean, any normal person would be like, gross. I mean, with necrophilia, bestiality, incest, any normal person who, who is not just completely insane, would be disgusted or repulsed by that. Let's see what uh, Leviticus 20, verse 11 to 12 says. And if a man lies with his father's wife, uh, or law, man, yeah, if, if the man that lies with his father's wife, not good at reading on a computer, hath uncovered his father's nakedness, both of them shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. Verse 12, and if a man lies with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death, they have raw confusion, their blood shall be upon them. Back under the Old Testament, you do incest, you get a death penalty. Now, let's see what America does about it. Uh, 
in all but two states, incest is criminalized between consenting adults. In New Jersey and Rhode Island, incest between consenting adults is not a criminal offense. So most states, again, just like the previous two perversions, most states do criminalize incest, but there are still there are two states where you can just, you know, just go up, you know, party away, you know, just by all means, do whatever you want. So it's legal in two states. I mean, that's disgusting, you know. I mean, again, this is why I call the United States of abomination. It's America, the land of abomination. I mean, and yeah, again, most states do criminalize it, which is good, but it's on. It's going to be on the rise. I mean, because the perverts that run America, you know, the perverts, sodomite sex perverts, whatever, like Jesuits and, and all those, all those uh, perverts, they're going to push for just. They're going to keep pushing the limit. Before it was, you know, sodomy is legal. Now we want gay marriage. Now we want uh, bestiality and incest, and pretty soon it'll be pedophilia and necrophilia. It's disgusting. America is the land of abomination. And to all you Christians out there, you Christian patriots, um, why, what are you doing flying the American flag? You know? Again, necrophilia is legal in four states. Bestiality is legal in five states. Incest is legal in two states. What are you doing flying the flag of a nation that legalizes that kind of filth? It's disgusting. If you're a Christian, your loyalty should not be to America. Your loyalty should be to God and to Jesus Christ. Okay? So, wanted to get that out there. Uh, America is not, and, and other nations are filthy too, by the way. I'm not just picking on America. I, I'm in Canada, and Canada is, is, in some ways, just as bad as America. I mean, it's, it's disgusting. And other nations are pretty bad. I mean, incest is legal in China. It's also legal in Brazil, and China, and I think France and Spain too, and Russia too. And, be, and bestiality is legal in Russia as well. So other, other nations are pretty bad as well. I mean, I'm not, I'm not just picking on America here, but... The bottom line is, is that if you're a Christian, your loyalty should not be to America, because America is a land of abomination. Your loyalty should be to Jesus Christ. Okay? So anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.